Yo, this is Patrick. And this is Justina. From Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the key influencer visual in Power BI. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Okay, Justina, I've been thinking about this, I've been dreaming about this key influencer great, visual great. and doing this, vi this video ever since you and I talked about it, but I just didn't have good data. I really don't understand it, to be honest with you, right? Okay. And so I'm happy we just happen to be in the same place that you can do this video. Yes, absolutely. All right? All right. That sounds good. So tell me about this key influencer visual. Okay, so the key influencer's visual is actually the first AI visualization we've introduced in Power BI. The very first one. The very first oh, one. My. There's going to be more, oh. so stay oh. tuned for those. You heard it here. There's going to be more. There's going to be more. Um, and it's all about really understanding what influences a metric that you're interested in okay. in your data. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, all right. So, instead of all this talking, I want you to show us, right? So yeah. Let's head over to my laptop. So once you head over to Power BI Desktop, you do need to enable it, it is a preview feature, yep. but you're gonna basically see this um, new AI visualization over here, and all our AI visualizations are going to be characterized by this little light bulb. Okay, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. So I can easily find them in my visual exactly. list. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. And so we're gonna click on the key influencer's visual, and you can see it's just a normal Power BI visual, you know. I can go ahead, I can resize it, make it fit my canvas. And now all I have to do is drag in a metric that I'm interested in analyzing. A metric, so can it be a measure? Not yet. Uh, we are going to have it working with measures, okay. Okay. but that's not enabled yet. I know it's a very common ask. Yep. We're working on it, but we have a very you know, important data set over okay. here with a very it's important a business very problem. Very important business okay? problem. So let's head over to the data, just take a look. And as you can see, you know, we've got the new Avengers movie coming out soon, so this is very topical. Yeah, but yeah. we've got some Marvel data, we've got some DC data. And so what we're going to be analyzing today is really what drives you to be a bad guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Me, I'm a bad guy. No, 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 no. I'm, I think that's what you are, just said. Are you I'm seeing your Marvel superhero? Uh, maybe I am. Maybe I am. So let's go ahead, and we have this field over here called character, which uh, we want to analyze. Yep. And so we can see the question updates to what influences character to be bad. Okay. Bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick one of the fields over here. For example, maybe hair color, you know. We can see here we surfaced the key kind of influencers. Yeah, yeah, I see it. This is visual. And um, so actually our top factor happens to be that you have no hair to be a bad guy in the Marvel universe. But what's the difference between no hair and is ball? I'm not, I'm... I'm I think that's like a data quality oh, okay. issue <laughs> over here. So basically so, you're saying that not only am I a bad guy, but all people, all ball people are bad guys. I am not saying anything. I'm, I'm, that's what apparently... Well, for all you ball guys out there, you guys are bad guys. No, 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 no. Again, this is contextual to Marvel. Excellent. So, you know, let's, right. let's keep it at that. Okay. Um, and you know, you'll see some kind of interesting things here. For example, when I clicked on the second influencer, you can see um, on the right-hand side, we actually have a representation of your real uh -huh. data. Got so we help you. you understand you know, what's coming out of the machine learning with shaping your data to show you that insight. So what is the little numbers, what does the numbers mean in those little bubbles yeah. there? So if yeah. you click on 1.36, mm -hmm. this tells us that when a character has no hair, they're 1.3 times six more likely to be a bad guy. Uh -huh. So we compare, we can see that about 85% of the characters in the Marvel Universe who are bold bad are bad guys. guys. Oh. And if we look at everyone else excluding this category, it's about, we can see 62% oh, over here. Okay, all right. And so this is you know, kind of this difference of 1.36. Yeah, yeah. But we do some clever things here as well. For example, if we jump into bold, we can see we skipped a couple of factors. For example, like orange hair yeah, 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 yeah. and blue hair. And if we hover over these, we can see these have pretty low counts, like 20, 30, whereas, you know, our, our wow. bold category... 74%. And, um, you know, has about 600, wow. 300 counts of superheroes. Oh, okay. So we I'll also see. make sure that we don't, you know, give you patterns based off anomalous, you know, one-off data. So it's pretty intelligent. It is, it is. Uh, okay. Very, very intelligent. <laughs> yeah. And not only can it work on, you know, a single factor, but I can just keep dragging factors So I can add in. as many of these explained by, yeah. into the explained by Dwell. So I'm gonna click on, let's see, eye oh. color, are they alive, Fine. you know? Are they, you know, male, female? And we can see the visual recalculates sure. every single time in real time. Yeah. Hair is no hair, is still the top still factor. Still the top bad guy. But red eyes is actually, you know, the second most important. At least I don't fall into that no, category. No, definitely yeah, not, yeah. definitely not. So if I had, if I was bald with red eyes, I'd be really in trouble. Right? That yeah, would yeah. be very okay. bad. All right, all right. And so, so can you show me like a, a scenario where we're really using this visual in the real world, right, for this data set? 
Um, yeah, so we have this tab here called Very Important Analysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what I've actually gone ahead and done here is I've authored two of these visuals side by side. Oh. And so we have one looking at what drives to be a bad guy in the Marvel Universe yeah. versus what drives someone to be a bad guy in the DC sure. Universe. And so this behaves like any other visual, right? It's interactive yes. and I can uh, use slicers and... Yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah. It's okay. just another visual in the report. So here I actually included uh, this little slider which is showing me which year you know that the superhero was you know active essentially okay so i can go ahead and let's say slide this and look at a different time range and everything recalculates in real time we re-rank the factors and look you know for marvel uh, if we you know exclude the early years maybe they realize this is not a true representation of the bad guy and now we can see red eyes one eye and well no hair is still kind of a <laughs> there right. But what's also cool is we've actually, you know, resized the visual, we've made it smaller. Yeah. So if I go ahead and click on this factor, we can actually see, you know, we can uh, contextualize it to the, you know, rest of the report. So is there anything special I need to, any special traits about the data set that can really help me with, you know, building it out so I can make sure yeah. it works with this vision? Yeah, and, yeah. and that's a great question, yeah. Patrick. So at the moment, because this is a preview feature, mm -hmm. um, it does work on categorical variables, uh, such as what influences character to be, you know, bad, good, neutral. Sure. You can have multiple categories. Yeah. Um, and you need to have, you know, descriptors of that category. So if I have a bad character, I need to know what kind of attributes of this bad character uh, I can use as explained by fields. Sure, sure, um, sure. As of April, um, we are introducing analysis for new as well. Wow, you heard it first here. Yes, yeah. and so that's going to be a really exciting update. So you can basically say what, imagine I had a score for how, whether a character was you know, good or bad from yeah. one to 10, I can say what influences a score to increase or decrease. Yes, very nice. It's not gonna work with measures yet. It has to be a numeric column, yeah. um, but we are you know, going to be adding measure support in the next couple So months. just a numeric field in my table will work, Absolutely. right? Yes. But I can't like create a measure and... Uh, yeah. No, you can convert your measure into a numeric field and you can use it that way, but okay. not with uh, measures as the thing that you're trying to analyze. Gotcha. How do you guys think you would use this, right? So if you have questions, comments, or your thoughts, for myself or Justina, post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the guy in the Cube channel, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. If you like our video, a big thumbs up. As always, from myself, Adam, and Justina, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, wait, is this where we go or is this like a one? <laughs>